Hello friend, welcome to Marine Engineering Hub. This is Ravi Gupta. Today, the topic is waste heat recovery. It is a very important topic, which uh, basically in this topic I will cover why the waste heat recovery is important, and after that I will show you how the waste heat recovery has brought up with us a new solution of a composite boiler, and why this boiler is mainly used in most of the places all type of ship you can find this boiler and after that a secondary solution of the waste recovery in the water tube boiler is was the exhaust gas boiler which are also using the waste heat for the stream generation so in this today topic i am going to cover composite boiler exhaust gas boiler and why the waste heat recovery has led to this both type of boiler generation so before beginning the video of the waste heat recovery, I want to tell you that I have made a video regarding the smoke tube boiler and regarding the boiler stresses which you can find in a play section of the boiler. Right now which is showing in I button you can click that and you can go there if you want to know about the smoke tube and the various type of stress rules and regulation in the boiler which will be beneficial for your class and your class exam. So let's begin the video of the waste heat recovery. So basically, why the waste heat recovery is important? First question come to our mind. So, as you know, the exhaust gas released by the internal combustion engine contain 30% of the unused combustion heat energy, which can be harnessed from the steam for the steam production by the waste heat recovery boiler. So, the heat which is been taken out for by the internal combustion engine means when the exhaust coming out from the internal combustion engine contain 30 percent of the unused combustion heat energy that energy can be used for the production of the steam and that for but that we are using a composite boiler or a exhaust gas boiler now waste heat recovery boiler utilizes this energy by 20 to 60 percent for production of steam which can be used for auxiliary purpose now one more thing you need to see that 30 percent of the heat energy which is coming out from the internal combustion engine unused of that 30 percent only 20 to 60 percent is been utilized by the composite boiler or the exhaust gas boiler okay not all cannot be utilized because of the sudden constraint now as most of the time ship uses its engine for propulsion the waste heat recovery boiler is designed in such a way that it can generate sufficient steam for the ship in normal use very important point means the construction of composite boiler or a exhaust gas boiler comes in our mind because the first thing is the importance means if the engine internal combustion engine is used for the propulsion purpose while the engine is using if that heat which has been unused can be utilized for the steam production such that the steam which is produced by that heat can be sufficient amount which can be used for the ship that is very very important thing okay so we are designing boiler in such a way as i have told you the waste heat recovery boiler are categorized in two parts composite boiler and the exhaust gas boiler so first we will see composite boiler as you can see in this diagram this is the composite cochrane type boiler in the composite boiler generally consists of two parts one is the oil burn smoke tube boiler and one is the exhaust gas smoke tube boiler which has been compiled in a one boiler so what is happening when the engine is using it engine the exhaust gas is coming from here is entering the smoke here smoke tube and coming out from here while the exhaust gas is entering the smoke tube the water surrounding the area will get heat up and will produce the steam which will be used for the auxiliary purpose now when the exhaust gas is not in use means when the engine is standstill at that time this furnace oil will burn and the flue gas will be produced and the 
flue gas smoke will pass through the tube and will go out from the flue gas uptake while the flue gas enter the smoke tube the water surrounding the area will get heat up and will ultimately produce the steam which can again be used for the oxygen purpose so the importance of composite boiler is that it is independent of each system means the engine exhaust gas is not dependent on this furnace and the furnace system is not dependent on the engine exhaust system so both are independently work each other against each other for the steam generation apart from that suppose the engine is running in slow dead slow speed or half half ahead at that time it may happen that the required steam generation is not up to the requirement at that time the oil boiler oil fired boiler can be used part can be used for additional help so that to provide additional heat for the steam generation which will suffice the requirement of the ship so each can be individually used in a such a case when one is not sufficient so let's see what i have written here composite type boiler is a such type of boiler which can be used for providing steam required for normal use when the ship is either chancel or in proportion so as i have told you as the system is independent of each other it can be used in chancel chancel and also it can be used in running in both condition it can be used composite boiler provide steam either by utilizing the heat from the exhaust gas of the main engine or by oil finding the furnace as i have told you composite boiler also provide one more advantage that it is independent for steam pro production from propulsion power so for steam production composite boiler is not dependent upon the propulsion engine propulsion it can also generate the steam which is in sufficient amount which is required for normal ship running by it oil firing furnace okay composite boiler can be used in conjunction with the main engine when it is operating in low load as i have told you if the engine is operating in low load at that time the oil fired boiler can be used in conjunction with the this for steam production a bypass or a changeover valve is provided to bypass the exhaust flue gas of the main engine passing through the composite boiler to prevent frequent fouling while it is operating at low load condition very important point so what it is saying that as we know that during the maneuvering condition when the engine is in maneuvering condition at that time the exhaust gas engine exhaust gas contain too much of carbon content carbon particles if that carbon particles is allowed to pass through the smoke tube it has two disadvantages one it doesn't contain sufficient amount of heat second it contain large amount of unburned carbon particle which can choke the tube and which can hamper the heat transfer rate for that reason a bypass arrangement is provided such that when the engine load is it running it's up in half ahead or full ahead at that time it will allow the engine exhaust gas to pass through the tube otherwise it will divert the divert the smoke directly to the uptake to prevent the fouling of the exhaust area smoke tube okay so i hope it is clear now as you can see in this diagram this is the alborg composite type boiler this is the oil fired furnace which is generating the which is heating up the water around it when the composite one is not in use and this is the composite type which is using the exhaust gas for its steam generation two parts separate from each other but the water is common and hence the overall heat transfer will be there and steam generation will be composite now let's see the second part exhaust gas boiler exhaust gas boiler is mainly used in conjunction with the water tube boiler as you know water tube boiler mainly consists of two thing steam drum 
and the water drum and the exhaust gas boiler is taking the water for the flow from the water drum in the water drum the water is around 70 to 80 degrees celsius that water is been used through circulating pump it is fed to the inlet header from inlet header the water enter and it flow through the exhaust gas boiler tube and after that it come out and it will return back to the steam drum so water is taken from the water drum fed to the inlet header and the engine exhaust gas engine exhaust gas is passing through and it is absorbing the heat and it is converted into steam plus water and that will come out and will collect it in in the what steam drum okay now let's see what i've done here exhaust gas boiler is a four circulation boiler which utilizes the water from the water drum of the water tube boiler as a feed system so as i've told you it is a four circulation why it is four circulation because the water is pumped to the inlet header it is not going naturally it is pumped to the inlet header where where the water is been taken water is taken for the water drum by doing so it avoided the problem of thermal stressing as water is preheated around 70 to 90 degrees celsius so the water is preheated around 70 to 90 degrees celsius so we don't need to preheat the water and it also avo avoids sudden rise in temperature which means as you know the water boils around 100 degrees celsius if the water is heated around 80 to 90 degrees celsius the amount of it it will take and the conversion of steam will be fast and moreover the stress on the tube be be because of the large change in temperature will be very less okay the preheated feed water utilizes the exhaust gas heat energy for steam generation and return the generated steam to the steam drum from where it is supplied for the auxiliary uses okay so the preheated the exhaust of the exhaust gas boiler contain consist of steam and some amount of water which will be collected in the steam drum and the steam which is generated by the exhaust gas boiler will ultimately be used for the auxiliary purpose steam now to exchange to enhance the heat exchange fins of the mild steel are provided and are made and staggering are done cast iron grill are provided to prevent corrosion problem if the gas temperature fall below dew point so very important thing is that the one thing you need to see that this exhaust gas boiler is only applicable is only in use when the engine is running in pull ahead or in propulsion mode it is dependent on the engine propulsion it is not independent system and it will only produce steam when the engine is running in pull ahead now to enhance the heat transfer of the exhaust gas boiler the tubes are provided with the mild steel fins the mild steel fins will stagger and will divert the exhaust gas coming from the main engine so that it will give ample amount of time for the heat exchange process so that the heat exchange efficiency will be good but one thing we need to keep in mind if the exhaust gas is coming from internal combustion engine consists of sulfur and other impurities if this impurities temperature if this exhaust temperature is allowed to fall below a certain temperature like 180 degree or 160 degree at that time this sulfur will settle on these tubes and will lead to the corrosion problem to prevent that the cast iron grill is provided which will render it and prevent it in order to control the excess heat steam generation two method is followed by exhaust gas boiler 
one is bypass arrangement second is the dumping of the excess steam in auxiliary condenser so as you know the heat exchange sometime what happen the heat exchange efficiency is good enough but the steam which are generated is fixed means suppose the if the engine running full ahead the amount of steam generation will be fixed and it may happen sometime that we don't require that amount of steam so what we do means that as the steam generation is fixed because the heat exchange will be continuous process so we sometime we don't require that amount of steam for in normal use so what we can do we can either bypass some of the engine exhaust gas divert it part directly to the exhaust uptake instead of the exhaust gas boiler or second thing the steam which is produced will be dumped in a auxiliary condenser for cooling purpose means we are dumping the steam which is produced for cooling instead of using it so by doing so we are using the steam okay now from time to time we need to clean the exhaust gas boiler so that the heat exchange efficiency doesn't get deteriorated for that reason we need to blow it with air and after a specific interval of time for 6 months 7 months we also clean it with water and that water is collected in a suit tank and ultimately it is been passed through the owas and then passed overboard now i hope in this video you have learned about exhaust gas boiler and the composite boiler if you have any doubt regarding composite and exhaust boiler please do comment below i will revert back and if you enjoy the video and if you like the video if you think that i have given some valuable information please do subscribe and please share this video with your friends because marine engineering hub only aim is to bring all our marine friends to this platform so that we can learn and we can grow together thank you friend have a good day